Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today, I'm going to be reacting to the Army of Satan, part 20, Science and Brainwashing, Alien Agenda, Darwinism, and atheism so without wasting time and by the way this video is going to be in two parts because it's too long and yeah so yeah without wasting time let's get into the video Science is the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. It only studies the physical world that could be perceived by our senses, and it can describe things which are not related to the physical world, like the existence of the Creator, the existence of soul, ethics, morals, and etc. But the knowledge that we get from science leads us to the reality beyond this physical existence. Science is consist of facts and theories. And this is where the problem arises. Because theories are not always true. Some of them are proven to be wrong, and some of them are even lies which were intentionally propagated to the public. And on the other side, the majority of people blindly follow and believe anything that are being fed to them. Because today blind obedience is the norm. So what is the cause that people are taking this slavery system as trustable? It has two reasons. First, the compulsory state-run education system, also known as public school system. And second, the media. With the help of these two brainwashing mediums, they control and manipulate all of the information that you get. Not for a short period, rather for a prolonged period of time. Imagine you enter to the public education system from your childhood till your adulthood and you constantly get some information as trustable facts. And then you get the very same information again and again from some documentaries and movies that are constantly trying to convince you that there is no reason behind all of the existence. They don't teach you things which help you to know the purpose of your life or things that help you to know your creator. For instance, they don't teach you the importance of Fibonacci sequence, which is a clear evidence for the existence of a designer. Because they know that if you constantly get such kind of information, your brain is strongly capable of analyzing the information and coming up with the conclusion that there's a designer for all of these things. And that's why they never teach you these things in school. Maybe just a little bit in university, but even there, they don't explain the reason behind it. And that's why we see these actors, known as scientists, appearing on the screen and fill up your mind with their atheistic explanations and theories. They aren't as intelligent as most of you might think. They are being promoted by the system as credible scientists so that people accept their words.
I mean, we have to remember that much of the roots of biology, physiology, medicine, chemistry, physics, mathematics, and so on, uh, grew up from the Islamic religion. The Islamic religion encourages uh, intelligence and investigation and for us to know our physical world and, and so on. So the early, the early Muslims experienced this explosion in knowledge that led to the first universities like the University at Cordoba and so on. Would, you know, and the centers of Islamic knowledge became known as the centers not only of uh, you know, Islamic religion but also science and learning. And it was, it, was from, it was from these origins that so much of science has grown. Of course, not every information they give you is wrong. The majority of information that you get from science agencies are true. But the most focused issues are not those which are true. Rather, the most discussed issues are the false theories. First, they deliver false information and back them up with some irrelevant reasons in order to convince you to accept it as truth. And we see a lot of theories that were supposed to be correct in the past, but today all of them are rejected. Now imagine how many generations have believed them as truth. Second, they deliver the true information and keep the reason behind it hidden. Instead, they give you some false explanation like coincidence to be the reason behind everything existing around us. And that's how they promote atheism among the society. I'll give you an example. One, one of my sons was studying biology and, and his biology teacher started talking about where everything's created from. In other words, he went from biology to cosmology. Instead of sticking with biology, which is the science of living things, he moved to the science of being, which is ontology, cosmology. This is a whole other branch. But philosophers like Dawkins is, a, philo is a, a biologist. But very often scientists, because they recognize how insignificant their knowledge truly is in relation to the big questions of existence, they often have this impulse or urge to engage in metaphysics and philosophy, even though they're not trained in these subjects. But they're clever people, they read books, uh, and so they begin to... Uh, espouse positions about the world, where it came from. Biology is very different. So this is, uh, this is important to note that a lot of their cosmological conclusions are simply false. For instance, they don't, they don't believe uh, in a creator God, most of these cosmologists. They say that if the Big Bang occurred, then there's probably alt alternate universes. So it's just a universe begetting another universe. That's a pure conjecture. And, and then they have magical formulas that they put on the board. You know, they write all those magical formulas. You see pictures of Einstein, and it's all magic, gibberish. You know gibberish? You know gibberish, where that comes from? It comes from Jabir bin Hayyan. Because when Jabir's books reached Europe, they, they couldn't understand them, so they <laughs> called it gibberish. You know? um, that's true etymology. So, so, so they put up all these things, and of course you don't understand. There's only 15 people on the planet that can understand them, right? And, and, but he's saying, oh, here, this, ha this, is, this can happen in quantum physics. Things can just pop into existence. They know how to manipulate the reality you live. Think of your brain. The whole reality that you're experiencing is being perceived with your brain. It is responsible to perceive, process, and analyze the data that you get from your surrounding. 
and then with the help of the pre-knowledge that you have, your brain either rejects the data or it will accept it as truth. Now think about it. What happens if someone feeds your brain from your childhood till now with some fake information or false theories again and again? Your brain gets used to it and accepts it as truth and it wouldn't be able to think otherwise. And this is what system is doing with you. That means that a part of the reality that you are experiencing is built up with lies. And as a result, most of the people get those lies or false information as the absolute truth and build up their lives upon them. Today the most focused issues in science are the Darwinian evolution theory and the discoveries in the field of cosmology. With the Darwin's theory of evolution, they indoctrinate you to believe that everything is evolving in billions of years from one species to another by natural selection through some random consecutive coincidences. And therefore, human being is also a result of this process. The priest went on saying that he, the plan of Satan uh, to um, deceive the human family this way, he says is the most intriguing thing to his mind. And he went on saying how it was going to be brought about. He said that a fellow by the name of uh, Darwin and uh, another fellow by the name of uh, Thomas Henry Huxley would be used by the spirits because in their childhood they had been hypnotized by medical doctors and they figured that, that they would be real good subjects uh, to uh, lead the people into this belief um, that they had and they, that Satan wanted to bring into people's lives because after the great general council it was decided that Satan would tutor Charles Darwin personally in setting up the, uh, uh, the principles of his theories of evolution. He was tutored by Lucifer himself, the fallen Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was understood, Satan and his uh, spirit counselors understood that if a person was led to believe in the theory of evolution, it would in his life destroyed completely the, the, the uh, creation week of the Bible, the fall of man and plan of redemption. It would go away with it. In one fell swoop. Yeah. Now, he made a, a unique statement. He said that according to the spirits, anyone that teaches a theory of evolution is considered to be a minister of a great religious system. See, they call it the religious system the theory of evolution <laughs> because it is a, a system of schooling people and getting them to disqualify themselves from being members of Christ's kingdom and he said that every teacher of that theory is recognized by the spirits as a person of great value and receives a very special unction from Satan himself giving great power to induce spiritual blindness to convince and convert. Three capacities are given to those teachers of the theory. Then, that's not all. The priest says that Satan considers the teachers of the theory of evolution to be so valuable to him that in the sight of all the inhabitants of the galaxies, he assigns a retinue of bright, beautiful angels to follow that, that uh, educator all the remainder of his life. And on the other side, there are cosmologists from NASA who claim about some discoveries. For instance, 
the discovery of planets that resemble Earth, like Kepler 22b or Gliese 581g. With this, they want to convince you that there are other habitable planets in the universe. And then they suggest that the extraterrestrial beings exist and planets like these can be their home. And it's strange that the concept of alien consciousness is one of the most focused issues in science today. It is indeed from the matters of the unseen, and the knowledge is only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but there are verses in the Quran that might possibly suggest that there are other creatures in other parts of the universe, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he has created things that you do not know. And in another verse he says, and of his signs is the creation of the heavens and earth, and what he has dispersed throughout them of creatures. So according to these and some other verses in the Qur'an, we do not reject the possibility that there exist other life forms in other parts of this universe. But what these scientists are telling you is fake and is following a big agenda. I really love reacting to these videos because they're always stating facts out there that other people are afraid to state. Even scientists are afraid to say some of the things that these videos say because it's their job to sell us whatever lies they sell to us. When it comes to education, education is not a bad thing. But then when education is shaping the way we're thinking concerning certain things and not telling us other parts of the truth, then it's up to us to... Um, to choose how we want our children to be educated. Fine, let them go to school, but when they're away from school, teach them about the real things in life that they have to face. Talk to them about things that are not being spoken about on the TV, whatever the case is, because school really brainwashes us. This is what people don't want to accept. And then, then the media, the media, we all know what the media does. They only show us what's good, what's good for them, for the ratings, whatever the case is, that's again, Conditional, conditioning us to see certain things in a certain type of way. Otherwise, let me get to the second part of this video. <laughs> 